Hello guys, welcome to a picture in picture narration today. My name is NBZ and we are today going to be doing a picture in picture. Uh, I, I kind of just felt like I wanted to do this again. I haven't done it for a long time and today, actually, I think maybe yesterday, I hit 25,000 subscribers, which uh, that's like a quarter of a way to 100k. It's quite a large number. I remember Back in 2009, I went to a Green Day concert, right? A Green Day concert in the O2. And uh, we were looking around the place. And uh, Billy Joe Armstrong, lead singer for Green Day, he, he was telling us how many people were in the crowd. Uh, and apparently, the O2 arena could hold a capacity of 25,000 people. Uh, or, or was it 20,000? It may even be 20,000. I may have more subscribers... 5,000 more subscribers than there are seats in the O2 arena to see Green Day. Which is mind-boggling and is kind of ridiculous. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for subscribing and for, for watching my stuff. I, I appreciate it more than you could really imagine. And uh, it's, it's been a very good ride this, so far. Uh, for like five years I've been doing this. Four, probably. I think 2008, April. So maybe we're coming up on five. Holy shit, we are coming up on five. Anyway, uh, enough of that. I thought that, I, you know, 25k might as well do a PIP, something a little bit special. Not really, though, because this battle isn't very special. It's kind of, uh, uh, it's not great, but it'll do. And uh, we might as well jump into it. So it's an Uber's game that I took uh, a couple nights ago, I think, on Wild Chase's stream or something to that effect. And I just made a random bunch of dudes. Now, this bunch of dudes, like, you'll see. We're going to start in three, two, one. Okay, so you're gonna have a look at this team here, and you think, why do you have Kyogre and Groudon? Uh, also, why is there a Drift Blim? Also, what is going on? Um, so my opponent has a relatively standard-ish Ubers team. He's go going for Sun with the Reshiram, uh, has Rayquaza, which is useful, probably Genesect with some fire move, and I have no idea what the Arceus type is, could still be Extreme Killer. We don't know, but I basically just took these six guys and put them together. The Arceus that I'm carrying is, in fact, Arceus Poison. Um, uh, not very commonly seen Arceus, so I'm, I'll hope that uh, it's, it proves interesting. We'll see. Uh, so I'll for Genesect, and I decide that it's a Rayquaza, and I think that I'm, well, I will be faster because I'm max speed Scarf, and I think even max speed Scarf Rayquaza can't because I have 99 base speed, like 95 or something. So I know I'm going to be faster regardless. Uh, unfortunately for me, he's a Focus Sash Rayquaza, which, gah, why? And now I'm like, shit, V Create's going to kill me. Ladies and gentlemen, V-Create misses, and I believe V-Create has a 95% chance to hit, 90 or 95, and the reason Victini never misses it is, of course, its ability Victory Star allows it to hit V-Create uh, 100% of the time. Rayquaza, however, does not have that, meaning that he gets the 5% chance to miss, uh, and kind of screws him over, because he all he can do is then go for an extreme speed on the next turn, as I take him out with an Ice Beam nicely. But, of course, he knows I'm Scarf locked into Ice Beam, so he's going to go into his Arceus Water, which um, I've used Arceus Water before. It's very cool. I also approve of that nickname, Space Goat. I, uh, it's, it's a good Arceus nickname, I feel, so that's good. Um, I decide he's probably going to be specially based, because unless you're running Extreme Killer, most Arceuses are specially based. I thought Dialga is my uh, support set, special defensive, even though it doesn't really have that much special defense. It's actually a modest Dialga, um, but uh, packs enough of a uh, of, uh, uh, structure, a shell. It has enough of a shell to withstand those special hits, Thunder especially, because it's resi resisted, unstabbed, etc. So it goes into Genesect as I set up rocks on the switch and then tries to do an Ice Beam on me. Uh, for some reason, uh, I'm not quite sure what the deal was with his Genesect here. He ends up really wasting it. I'm not sure if he knew that I would have Flamethrower. Maybe because he saw Kyogre on my team and didn't notice I had Groudon as well. He thought I wouldn't be carrying a fire move. Uh, and I would have just like a dragon move. So he'd be able to do damage to me. But uh, he wasn't able to because Genesect uh, can't really touch me and Flamethrower kills him. Then he brings a Reshiram and a second piece of hacks. Though not really hacks uh, happens. I'm not going to call Focus Blast missing hacks. Because um, Focus Blast missing is like like scald getting a burn like they are the same chance even though they're like polar opposites it's what happens it's the way of the pokemon and what are you going to do about it nothing you can do he misses the focus blast so it kind of sucked for him but uh i decide i'm going to leave dialga in here regardless because he brings in his groudon and i want to get off a sun boosted flamethrower and i also want to maybe get a chance to burn him i'm not quite sure what kind of uh, groudon he's running at this point so i decided to just find out and uh, stay in and unfortunately for me he's running a rock polish set which 
is is good and bad. The good thing is it means that Groudon's easier to kill in terms of its defensive uh, prowess. It's not going to be able to take hits so well. As you can see, the flamethrower does a fuck ton. But uh, he's going to basically be outspeeding my entire team at this point. I'm pretty sure he outspeeds Scarf Genesect. I'm not quite sure on that one. But I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to go into Scarf Genesect and risk being outsped and then dying to an earthquake. So I decided to go into my own Groudon, which, funnily enough, I'm running the exact same set apart from I'm running Life Orb instead of Lefties. He's running more defensive build. Um, and I'm actually running overheat as well so this uh you know rock polish ground does like to run overheat to get rid of uh rogue fortresses and ferrothorns and all those kind of things which may want to stop it sweeping and so uh kind of useful uh, unfortunately for him i don't know why he really went for the overheat there because it's not going to do as much as an Earthquake would. A uh, Stab Earthquake coming off all that attack power is definitely going to do more than an Overheat, I feel, and probably with a chance to crit. If he had crit me, I probably would have died in one hit. Crit Overheat wouldn't, however, have taken me out because I lived with over half. I take him out with an Earthquake, and then he goes into his Darkrai, which, um, for all intents and purposes, I could easily roar out if I had roar, but I've, of course, you know I'm running the Rock Polish ground on, so that isn't really a possibility for me, uh, so I just decided to stay in an Earthquake. He's trying to set up subs on me here. He's trying to, you know, get behind one and then Dark Void, that's kind of what his game plan is, but I have a very easy way to deal with this. I just want something to go to sleep. I just want Groudon to go to sleep. He's kind of wearing me down with Life Orb, but at the same time, he's taking his own damage, so it's not like it's a big deal, really. Uh, just gonna let him put me to sleep. Once Groudon is asleep, and I've taken a little bit of bad dreams. I should still be alive after this because I have a significant amount of HP. And plus, after I'm asleep, I'm not going to be able to attack him. So Life Orb isn't going to come into the fray. Uh, so I will still be alive, which means my Groudon is the sleep fodder. And then I can go into my thing, which can deal with Arceus appropriately, which is, of course, Arceus... No. Darkrai appropriate, which is my Arceus, my Arceus Poison. Uh, and this Arceus Poison, uh, the set that I was given by Joey was a Parish Song one, but I decided I don't like Parish Song, I wanted Raw instead. So I put Raw on it, and um, it works out in this situation because he's behind a sub, and he can't put me to sleep because my Groudon's already asleep. So he, he just Dark Pulses, which isn't going to do a huge amount because I'm defensively invested. I'm not specially defensive, I'm physically, but it's an Arceus and it has natural, it has base 120 HP and special defense. So even uninvested in the special defense event, it's still going to take it brilliantly. Um, goes, uh, I go for the raw, goes into his own Arceus Water, which at this point, I don't feel like is a huge threat because offensively, it's not going to be touching me too heavily. I have recover uh, and I decide I'm going to burn him because the only thing I really can do to him is burn him at this point. This set is Ice Beam, Will-O-Wisp, Recover and Raw, as you did see. So Ice Beam's going to do nothing. Will-O-Wisp is my only real option to uh, do significant uh, residual damage, just wear him down. And then I decide to recover up. Uh, and once I am at a sizable amount of HP, I should be able to just go for the Raw again, roar him out into his dark. Cry, and after I roar him out into his Dark Cry, the Stealth Rock damage should mean that he won't be able to set up a sub with that poke because it was a pretty low amount of HP, as I recall, uh, from when he switched in earlier and it took all that damage from him substituting, etc. Uh, etc. Et so it, uh, I would go for the roar, bring him out, and actually, that looks like he may be able to sneak a sub in. Not quite sure. Actually, especially after lefties, he probably will be able to, but not really like it's a good option for him because I can just easily ice beam and break the sub regardless so would be a bit of a lost cause he decides to go for the dark path straight out kills me and uh, takes me down I also forgot to mention I named this Arceus poison psych because it's like the same thing with Arceus steel and Arceus flying who both look similar Arceus poison and Arceus psychic they're both kind of purpley I thought if I named it like that people might think it's Arceus psychic and therefore you know I don't know I, I <laughs> maybe it would have worked Maybe it will work, unless, of course, I play someone who knows this fact, meaning someone watching this video. So I better not ever play someone watching this video with my Arceus Poison, yes, yeah, so otherwise uh, things can go badly. But it doesn't matter, um, because now we're going to see Driftblum. I could easily have ended this match uh, just bringing in Kyoga and going for the Thunder, but I want to play things a little bit differently. So I kill off his Darkrai with my Janitor with a U-turn, go into my Driftblim, and if you weren't aware, uh, Ubers now allows Evasion Clause. Evasion Clause is not a thing in Ubers anymore. Smogon have officially deemed it okay to use Evasion moves. So that means that things like Double Team and Minimize are legal in Ubers. The problem is with Minimize is there's only a couple of Pokemon who can really use 
use it beneficially. One of them is Driftblim, and the thing about Driftblim is that it has massive HP, so it can get subs up and pass nice subs to people. It can also minimize while it's behind the sub, and it can also baton pass the sub and minimize in a nice little package to something like, say, I don't know, Specs Kyoga? Yeah, uh, so that's kind of the, the deal with the Driftblim. That's what I wanted it to do, was to... Uh, you know, bring it in on Darkrai when it dark voids because it actually has Lumberry, I think. Or well, my new one has Lumberry, and uh, it means it takes Dark Void, Lumberry gets the unburdened boost is fast, it is able to minimize and then baton pass, and that's how it goes. But uh, in this situation, unfortunately, uh, I actually end up passing out to Kyogre, and he ends up having Thunder. And I don't actually know whether minimize affects Thunder in the rain because. Thunder is like 100% accuracy in the rain, but I'm not sure if that means that it always hits in the rain every time the rain is up, regardless of evasion, or if I can still hit it, or if he can miss. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know if Thunder misses with Minimize, even if rain is up, is what I'm trying to say here. Kind of, if you get what I'm saying. Um, but it ends up working out because I just live a Thunder, get paralyzed, but then I crit Thunder him with Spect Kyogre. I'm not sure that crit thunder really mattered because specs kyogre mm -hmm, that thing kills things if you if you weren't aware specs kyogre is the win button because it just it just does win and uh that's how it went so i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope it was uh, an enjoyable picture in picture i will uh maybe be using this ragtag uh, ubers mash of things together again i really want to kind of use drift blim uh again and maybe fit it better into an ubers team um and just and just see how it goes and see how many people I piss off because uh, I don't know I th this evasion clause thing in Ubers is a bit weird and I'm I'm thinking that uh, I'll see how people like it when I start using it maybe they'll get mad maybe they'll go complain to smoke on like that will do any use because uh, that's not how the system works people not how the system works um, anyway thanks for watching uh, thank you again so much guys for 25k that is was uh, pretty ridiculous and um, I am very happy to have reached that amount. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I will probably have a video up tomorrow as well. And then we'll see about where we go from there. Yeah. Goodbye.